going on everyone? Welcome back to another MG Lifestyle Solutions Lifestyle Review. And today we're back on the Samsung product train. Um, I got myself an updated Samsung watch, the Samsung Galaxy 3. Um, and I wanted to basically check out the fitness components of it, the sensor, if there are any updated uh, apps to go along with the Samsung Health, and see how it compared to the original review that I did with the Galaxy Watch. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Um, and let's jump into the video and see what it's all about. So in terms of just keeping the videos to a decent length, I think I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and application of the of the shield first, and then I'll kind of separate it and go into all the health and wellness components and the review of that. Probably in a second video, depending on how long this takes. So first right. thing I did with the watch, um, I went ahead and made sure I got a screen protector on it. Um, I did a video removing the old screen protector off the Galaxy watch that I had before. Um, and it was pretty banged up, so I think it did its job, hopefully. Um, you know, it definitely had some cracks in it, so that protected the screen, I'm assuming. So I wanted to kind of protect this new investment. Uh, these things aren't cheap, so for a few bucks, pick up a, a glass screen protector. I think it's definitely worth it. All right, so here's the Watch 3 packaging. Um, just got it the other day. Got it right off of Samsung's shop. Uh, let's open it up and check it out. Compare it a little bit. And I want to get the screen protector on as soon as possible just to protect the watch face. Um, it is a little bit bigger than the Galaxy Watch. Um, ever so slightly you'll see if you can kind of even see the difference um, but nicely packaged simple let's see what we have in here <clears throat> I think maybe some user manual the charger and yeah so the charger is different than the galaxy watch um, and I think it will be specific to it so I won't be able to use the Galaxy watch charger I had and I'll have to just replace it with this one. A little bit more simple. Um, it's I think it's magnetic so the watch kind of sticks right to it and kind of cool. It has a little protective layer there. We'll take that off uh, once we use it. But yeah, regular USB there. Um, okay. And and just some paper, some packaging, and there's the manual, okay. They're not really a manual, just kind of a product info sheet in different languages, something that I don't think any of us actually read, so I don't know why they bother these days. You can probably make it just digital. Um, all right, so here it is. It comes by itself. Nothing else in there. So we put that aside. And let's un velcro this little sheath here. Nice little extra protection for the screen while being shipped. And wow, there it is. I mean, that screen, pretty sweet. Obviously, we're looking at a used screen. There's my Galaxy Watch. Um, little difference there. Not, I think it's a little bit thinner. It's hard to tell without it zooming. Come on, focus. Focus, focus, focus. There we go, kind of focused. Uh, but screen is a little bit better. I forget the exact dimensions. Um, the Watch 3 is a little lighter, slightly lighter. Um, looks like the back's a little different. Oh boy, where's the, where's the focus? There we go, so there's some more sensors. It seems, or at least the material is a little different there, so I think that's part of the, the updated sensors that I'm looking for um, on the new Watch 3. There you go. Nice design. Very elegant, nice smooth uh, bevel 
the rotating bevel moves nicely. All right, let's turn it on. We're gonna hold that bottom, bu bottom button for a few seconds and let it kind of boot up here. Um, should take just a minute or so, and then we'll have to set it up. Um, pretty easy setup from what I remember. Just have to link it to the Samsung Gear app. Um, and I don't know if, since I have my Galaxy watch connected, I'll probably have to disconnect. I'm not sure if you can have multiple watches at the same time. Um, so here we go. Let's give it a go. All right, as it's finishing pairing, let's take a look at the band um, that I chose. So on Samsung, at least, they give you a choice between three different bands. This is a, a hybrid band. Wasn't sure what it said, what it meant, but it's kind of their um, more active band, I believe. And it's a mixture of rubber on the bottom and some kind of leather material. I'm not sure if it's real or not, but I actually kind of like this combination where it looks a little fancier on the outside, but on the inside, it is a little bit more suitable to get wet maybe, maybe a little sweaty um, if you're working out in it and that way you don't have to change out the band, okay? Uh, so it looks like it is paired up and you gotta just accept some terms, all that, yada yada. Now that the watch is paired up, it takes you through a little tutorial, um, just how to use the watch real quick and just pretty easy. I think you can just skip right through it. Again, not the purpose of this video, so we'll just keep going. Let's keep this video rolling. So let's move on to the screen protector. Uh, it's a Super Shields I got on Amazon. If you want to get this one, the link will be in the description below. So check that out. Um, nice and simple, very clear. Um, they got all the things included. This is a three pack. So it includes everything to do this three times. So if you, you know, you smash the original, you got two extras to go, and hopefully you didn't smash it hard enough to, to break the watch itself. So what do we got in here? We got some alcohol, swabs, some of the application and dust removal and just cleaning it, right? That's kind of always the most important thing when you're applying any of these protective films or glass or whatever. Um, is to just prep the surface and the surrounding area, um, you know, get the fingerprints, get any lint or particles, whatever, uh, off the surface that you're going to be working with. And there's, you know, so the three circular glasses and the application. So we'll clean it off. Luckily, this is a brand new watch, so, you know, it shouldn't really be super dirty. Just kind of make sure my fingerprints are off. I recommend turning it off so that way you can see the glass and any um, imperfections or you know hanging around particles a little easier than if, if you keep the watch on because um, things might get lost in the design of the watch face so I think I got it pretty clean here and I'm gonna use this little basically sticker to just dab around the watch, pick up anything that maybe I can't see. Um, oh. and again, if your watch isn't new, it, you should spend a little more time with the prep. I'm probably doing a little overkill, but hey, whatever. And again, don't worry about saving it because there's two others, two, two more sets to reapply a screen protector if needed. All right, let's grab, and I guess I'll use one of these too. Get off any oil that might be left over from my touching the watch. That's really what that's for, just to remove any oils from your fingertips so that the adhesive has a nice bond. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. A little overkill. But again, prep, prep, prep. Let's open this up. And there is... So that's the adhesive side is covered right now with this little clear filament and it just says remove this before um, applying yeah yeah let's go all right so we gotta be careful here it is perfectly sized to fit this watch so you want to make sure you get it centered and before you take it off you want to use one of these stickers, it's an application sticker so that you don't have to touch um, the glass itself. Maybe I should have done that first. Now I can remove the adhesive part. And here's the hard part, here's the tricky part, is you gotta line up all the edges. So I'm trying to find the border and really not um, apply any pressure until I do. So find one of the bottoms and come across. I started at six o'clock, went to three o'clock, up to 12 and over to nine, and then just applying some pressure throughout. Nothing too hard, just, you know, fair amount of pressure. And that's pretty much it, so wipe off any residue from the sticker and just make sure that the bevel can rotate. Make sure you didn't put it off to one side too much. And again, if you mess up, luckily you got two more attempts and to make it look good. So let's turn it back on and just see how it looks with the screen protector on. And I think you'll be impressed. So there it is, nice and clear, nice and smooth. A little extra protection for your new Galaxy Watch 3. All right, so that's a wrap for this video. I hope it was useful and a little bit entertaining. And I think it's something you guys can apply yourself. Uh, so let's stay tuned for the fitness review to follow. So again, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that out. And while you're waiting, check out one of my previous videos on maybe the watch bands that are interchangeable. So if, if you like one um, that you see in one of my videos, check it out. Uh, some of them do have a link, Amazon link in the description. Um, and again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys soon.